Welcome to the Oasis. My name's Mike and today I'm going to be doing an updated guide on how to set up SteamVR if you're a new owner of an Oculus Rift. Now there's plenty of reasons why you'd want to do this. Not only does Steam have a huge library of VR content, but it also has some exclusive features you can't get from Oculus Home. For example, you can only play custom Beat Saber tracks using a modded Steam version of the game. Also, VR games like Skyrim, Doom VFR and Fallout 4 are only available on Steam. So this is definitely worth doing. Now if you've had a riff for a little while, I've got something for you too in this video as I'll also be showing you how to link Steam VR to Oculus Home so you can easily jump between the two platforms without having to take the headset off. It's super, super useful. I'll put timestamps for the different sections of the guide in the description. Now I've done a series of these videos in the past and I thought it was about time I did an updated version of them so you don't have to go back and watch some of my old cringy videos. Sometimes due to updates for both Oculus Home and SteamVR things can change so if this guide doesn't work for you make sure you check the comments down below or feel free to join my VR community discord where you can ask people for help there. I'll put a link to that in the description down below as well. So I hope you guys and girls enjoy this one and without further ado let's dive in. Okay, so first up, you want to make sure that Oculus Home is running smoothly and your sensors are well calibrated. Go to Settings and General in the Oculus Desktop application and check the Allow Unknown Sources box. This will allow you to play games and experiences that aren't downloaded directly from the Oculus Store. Assuming that you have Steam installed on your PC and that you have a Steam account, open up Steam and navigate to Library and Tools. You want to scroll all the way down to Steam VR. Make sure you download and install Steam VR and then restart your PC. Once restarted, launch both Oculus Home and Steam. Please note that when using Steam VR in the future, you'll need to have Oculus Home running in the background. There are ways around this, but I don't want to complicate this video and I just want to keep things simple. Now when you open up Steam, you'll see a small VR icon in the top right corner. Click on that and you'll see a window appear like this where you'll see your headset, controllers and sensors. You're going to need to right click on the window and run Steam VR room setup based on whether you have space for room scale or standing only. Going through the room setup is crucial as you'll need to center your room and calibrate your height so it's correctly represented in game. Once you've done that, go to Steam VR Home and now you can explore your new VR Home environment and enjoy some Steam VR games. Right, so now I'm going to show you how to make a link to Steam VR in your Oculus library so you can easily jump between the two platforms without having to take your headset off. First up, you need to download the Oculus Tray Tool from the link in the description. When you download it and you run the installer, you'll likely get a warning like this from Windows. Now it's absolutely fine, I've been using this application for years and I completely trust it. Once installed, run the Oculus Tray Tool application as an administrator. You can easily do this by searching for Oculus Tray Tool in Windows, right click on the Tray Tool application and select Run as Administrator. There are many things you can do with this awesome tool, but I'm just going to cover the most important features in this video. So let's start with super sampling. This can be used when you have a powerful graphics card and you can push the visuals to a higher resolution than that of the Rift. This can make the image in the headset look a little bit crisper and clearer. And for most people, the max you want to push this is 1.5. If you do notice any stuttering or lag in game, then make sure you dial it back. One word of warning though is that this will stack with any super sampling setting that you apply in the Steam VR settings, which is separate. So make sure you're not doubling them up. Using the visual HUD, you can check on your Oculus Rift's performance. This will give you an overlay in VR showing how many frames per second the VR applications are running. This is great for testing what super sampling setting you can use so you can push it to the max. Ideally, you want to be running a smooth 90 frames per second with a little bit of performance headroom. You'll definitely want the Oculus Tray Tool to run on startup and run minimized, so these settings can be applied as soon as you start your PC. One of my favorite features of the tool is the auto audio switcher. This will automatically switch to the Oculus Rift headphones and microphone when the Oculus application starts and then will default back to your speakers or headphones when you close the Oculus application. Super helpful. For power plan on start, you want to select high performance. 
For the fresco settings, you only need to apply this if you're using an Inatech USB expansion card. Fresco registry tweaks should be enabled and fresco power management should be set as disable on start. If you don't have an Inatech USB expansion card, you can skip that bit completely. Another neat feature of the tray tool is that if you find that your Rift is starting automatically when you don't want it to, all you have to do is right click on the Oculus tray tool icon in your taskbar. Then just select stop Oculus service. This will prevent the Oculus application from running. If you just need to start it again, just simply right click and press on start Oculus service and things will be back to normal. To add a link to Steam VR to your Oculus library, you want to go to Game Library. Go to Options and select Add Steam VR. Now all you need to do is restart your PC. Once everything is back up and running, go back into your Oculus Home library where you can select a filter to see VR games from unknown sources. Check unknown sources and you should find Steam VR in your library. Now when you dive into VR and open up the Oculus Dash, you'll see the Steam VR icon all you need to do is click on that, wait a few moments, and you'll be in your Steam VR home environment. And you can enjoy some Steam VR games without having to take the headset off. Okay, guys and girls, so there we have it. That's how to set up Steam VR with an Oculus Rift, and also an easy, convenient way to jump between Steam VR and Oculus Home using the Oculus Tray Tool application. Let me know in the comments down below if this video was useful to you, and if you'd like to see more video guides like this in the future. I'd love to know. Also, if you have any issues, put them in the comments down below and I'll try and help as best as I can. If you're still struggling, feel free to join my VR community Discord and there's plenty of people out there that can help you in the help section. I'll put a link to it in the description down below. Leave a like if you like this video, make sure you're subscribed for all my future content and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.